This is Jesse Lee Peterson. If you've never heard of him, it's almost like satirical, but it's not. It's not satire. It's 100% real. I want to introduce you to him. I mean, I've talked about him before, but it's been a while. So let, check out this video, this TikTok video with Jesse Lee Peterson. You know what? I, I just like, I can't even give it any lead up. Just listen. It is climaxing, climaxing is becoming a man. What? Yeah, this is a stitch. So this dude's interjecting every few seconds. He's interjecting the word what every few seconds. I dig it. Anyway, Jesse Lee Peterson thinks anytime a woman is, you know, getting there, if you will, she's becoming a man. That is what he just said. Unironically, with a completely straight face. And you know what's even worse? Like, Jesse Lee Peterson's opinion on this is completely ass backwards. But the people he's talking to are even worse than him. Or even, like, more out there. <laughs> so funny. Because it's not normal for women to do that. Right. What? I think it's a, I think it's a lie. I, don't, I think it's a lie, he says. I don't think they do that. What? Oh, you don't think they do? No. You think they're pretending? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. That could be possible. Absolutely insane, dude. Jesse Lee Peterson was a um, dude on top here. He was uncovered as a gay guy forever ago. Like um, a bunch of his ex-partners, or at least like one of his ex-partners came out and described in vivid detail a whole bunch of like his house and his everything and said, yeah, we've been together for like 20 years and, and all this stuff. And we had a falling out. Anyway, yeah, Jesse Lee Peterson is gay. He's gay. So this doesn't surprise me coming from Jesse Lee Peterson. But these dudes on the bottom, come on, guys. What? What? What is wrong with you? You think they're pretending? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. That could be possible. Could, I mean... <laughs> Dude, I, I kind of like the black nail polish. <laughs> Were they pretending with you? Probably. A hundred percent, yes. If you have any doubt that somebody is pretending, the answer is they're pretending. You think when women act like they're doing that, they're lying? Uh, I never thought about it, but you you never know. I mean, I never thought about it that way, but it, it, would explain, it would explain a lot. I think it feels good, but uh, yeah, the, the climaxing part, I'm not so sure about that. Is this like... <laughs> I don't understand. Is this like flat earthers, but for like female pleasure? <laughs> I've never seen it happen. So must not be real. What? If you guys aren't familiar with Jesse Lee Peterson, let me just give you a little uh, quick little intro here. I just give you an idea of some of the guy's values real quick. And then we're going to talk about an evolution debate. This one is from um, early June 2022. I used to think that when they used that word, white supremacy, it, it was a negative word. But now I realize what they're thinking is that, and, and it's true, by the way, that, <laughs> that white men are smarter than them, superior to them. And, and instead of learning, oh, hey, how did you become so superior? They want to destroy it so that they won't be reminded how dumb they are. And so they're dumbing everybody and everything down rather than coming up to the level of white supremacy. He just described white supremacy. That's it in a, night, in a nutshell. The belief that that, that is insane. What the hell is wrong with this dude? And it, it's not like a one-off thing. Quick interjection. This won't take long. If you like what I do, I'd appreciate it if you watch the video to the end. YouTube bases video reach off of watch time, so watching even an extra minute makes the video go further. Liking and subscribing goes a long way, too. Finally, it would be awesome if you guys checked out my Patreon. All links are in the description, of course. Okay, back to the video. He was a Trump voter. Is, I get, is a Trump voter. Do anything for the guy. It calls him the Great White Hope. I don't know if you know the reference. I didn't. I had to look into it to find out. But basically, the reference is there's a, an old movie, an old boxing movie back in, um, I don't know, segregation days, I think. And there's a black guy who was boxing a white, like every white guy. He's boxing his way up the chain until he won against everybody, this black dude. And in the movie, they were looking for a great white hope to come in and take out this black guy who would take the belt back, a great white hope. He calls Trump the great white hope. Really? I'm not even joking. Okay, listen to what he says here. This is uh, mid-October 2021. 
The blacks are destroying America, and no one is saying it out loud. And all the children of the lie uh, are, are using them. Children of the lie being the left. Anyone to the left of hunting the homeless for sport, I suppose. To do it. The radical lesbians and the radical homosexuals and the radical baby killers. Ironic, coming from Jesse Lee Peterson, who had a boyfriend for who knows how long. Dude came out and talked about it and everything. It completely verified. A lot of Abba people and the radical so-called women's right movement. Oh, I guess that was the end. Let's be honest. Oh, no, it wasn't. My God. Jesus. I thought he stopped, but no. <laughs> He just wanted to scream lesbians randomly. I was going to take a sip of my coffee and I start hearing lesbians. Dude, I got to put that on the soundboard. Dude, he's perfectly still for this period of time. I had no idea. Lesbian. <laughs> so what I said. Oh, that, that, I guess that's on his soundboard. So what I said 31 years ago, that if you left America to the blacks, they would destroy the whole country. I rest my case. The proof. Is in the pudding. Uh, like, I don't even know what he's talking about. What do you mean uh, if the whole country be destroyed if the black community was allowed to run it? Did the bla Is the black community running the country right now? How many black people are there in office right now? Okay, there's something called African American. It's a very specific demographic. It, it is not the same as black. African Americans are the group of people demographically who are specifically affected by the slave trade. I knew a dude, I lived in Florida. He lived downstairs for me. He was from Jamaica. He's first, second generation Jamaican. Uh, he'd lived in the, uh, the U.S. since the 1930s. I mean, his family li lived here since the 1930s or something. He's not an African American because he was not affected by the slave trade. So African American is a very specific term to refer to a specific group of people. Yeah, I can't find the I can't find the number, but I can guarantee you that black people are not controlling the country right now. He he rests his case, he says. Anyway, this is Aaron Ra debating um Jesse Lee Peterson on evolution all the way back in um August 19th, 2022 is when this debate took place. It went viral on Reddit. I just want to listen to a second or two of it. Have you ever seen an ape turn into a human being? Have I ever seen a dog turn into a dachshund? No. I mean, that's a good point. The point that, you know, Aaron Ra is trying to draw out here is human beings are apes. Dachshunds are dogs. It's the same thing. No, I've never seen a human turn into an ape because we are apes. It's betraying a fundamental misunderstanding about how evolution works. You know, David Pakman went on this dude's show once maybe twice and realize you just can't take this guy seriously you have to understand that he's just a joke all the way around but people seriously buy it they seriously believe in him and what he says and the crazy stuff he gets up to quick note before we continue i want to let you know i just wrote a book if you want to check it out owenmorgan.com slash book it's a book about my experiences within jehovah's witnesses it's completely understandable if you know nothing about jehovah's witnesses and if you're a christian it's a good reference to use for why jehovah's witnesses are wrong about their interpretation of the bible the last chapter of the book is a hundred questions that i have for the governing body I'm selling the last chapter separately as its own separate guide if you guys want to get that too. So check it out, owenmorgan.com slash book. I'd appreciate that. No, have you ever seen an ape turn into a human have being? Have I ever seen a, a, a car turn into a Corvette? Are you, can you hear me? Yeah, have I ever seen a... He, he's pretending that Aaron Ra is stupid because he doesn't understand the point, or he's pretending not to understand the point. Is Jesse Lee Peterson really this stupid, or is it a character? Tell me what you think in the comments. Is this a character? Yeah, have I ever seen a shark turn into a fish? I didn't ask about any of those things. I asked, when oh. have you ever seen an ape turn into a human mm. being? Now, oh, yeah, his show is called The Fallen State. You can see it in the corner here. It is so stupid, I don't even know what to do with it. Like, he, he refuses to learn. That's really the problem. Aaron Ra is drawing out the point that apes and human beings are the same. Just like dogs and dachshunds are the same. 
I'm trying to illustrate the fallacy of your question. How that fallacy? You wrote that we're all ape. You must when, have. And we are. You and must that book. have at some point all these hundreds of right. thousands the proof of is years. In there. At some that, point, that book is, you would that have book is seen if it ate. This is a bad tactic right here. It's like, should you talk over the person or not? It's a debate tactic, and it's debatable as to whether people should do it. If an wrong. ape turned into a human being, have you ever seen <sighs> an ape turn into a human being? Dude, r and is getting so frustrated. He's taking it seriously for a second. You got to understand this dude's a joke. You got to understand that. And you know what, Aaron? You went viral for it. So it was a W at the end of the day anyway. You know, the first time I ever met Aaron Ra, I, I ran Faithless Forum three years in a row. That's how many years we had Faithless Forum was three. Of course, COVID comes in and destroys everything. And we put it off for like a couple of years and then we held it again. Anyway, we invited Aaron Ra. It was me, Thomas Westbrook, and Drew McCoy of um, Genetically Modified Skeptic. We all three... Oh, and I'm sorry, a prophet of Zod. He was one of the board members that made decisions and, and everything. We all did the heavy lifting, and I did a lot of the tech stuff, and I wanted to get everything straight. I still technically own the domain name, although Thomas Westbrook asked me if I would pass it to him, and I said, yes, I would. And I just don't feel like it. Oh, my God, it's such a pain in the ass. I can probably give him access to my uh, registrar so that he can just do the transfer. I just don't want to do it, man. That's all. It's just such a pain. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. The point is, we invited Aaron Ra to speak at Faithless Forum all three years. And he came all three years. And the very first year, I walk up to him. I say, hey, Aaron, great to meet you. I'm one of the organizers. I'm Owen Morgan. YouTube channel with, like, I, I don't know what I have. Like, 100,000 subbies or something like that? I don't know. Maybe I only had, you know, maybe I only had 30,000 at the time. Yeah, first Faithless Forum. I think I had 30,000 subbies. Anyway, I introduced myself. He's like, oh, good to meet you, you know, shake my hand and all that junk. And he's always carrying around a goblet like this. It's not like a, a wine glass. It's a goblet, you know, like metal kind of uh, ornate with the designs on it. And it's always got something in it that he's drinking from. Anyway, uh, so... The following year I meet him, uh, it, I think it was at the Faithless Forum the next year. I came up to him and said, hey, Aaron, good to see you. And he said, um, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't think I recognize you. Who are you? I was like, all right, you know what? It's okay. Not a big deal. People forget others all the time. How many people does this dude meet? A lot, right? So I introduced myself again. I'm Owen Morgan. At this time, I think I had 100,000 subbies. He's like, I'm at 100,000 subbies. I'm one of the organizers. I set this up. I, like, pushed for you to come. Uh, you know, we voted on whether you would be invited to this, and I voted yes. <laughs> and he was like, oh, that's great. Well, th thanks for inviting me. Great to meet you. I spoke at American Atheists one year. I show up, and Aaron Ra is like, I, I saw him there. Um, not at the one I spoke at. It was at a following American Atheist, because I think I went to that next before going to another Faithless Forum. I saw him at an American Atheist convention after speaking there. And our, I said to, you know, I went up and I said, hey, Aaron, what's up? And I, before even giving him a chance to talk, I said, look, Aaron, I'm a Faithless Forum organizer. I like 300,000 subscribers on YouTube. I'm very well known in the community. And I'm absolutely honored to get to meet you. But this is the third time that we've met. And he didn't remember me again. And I was like, all right, we sat next to each other for an hour while we ate and talked. <laughs> like, how do you not remember me? We literally sat in a garden with a tree in the middle and we ate uh, Indian food together. Just like me and you and Matt Dillahunty. You don't remember that experience? Like, what the hell is happening right now? Anyway, ever since then, that was the third time I met him. Ever since then, I think I've met, you know, who knows how many times, 10 times, 12, who knows. Every time I go to American Atheists or Faithless Forum or any other conference and I see him there, I'm like, hey, I saw him at this past American Atheist and he turns around and he's like, do I know you? <laughs> Just a joke around. Anyway, he's pretty funny. Uh, he's, he's a really good guy. I like him. You know what else is interesting about him? Anytime, I know this because I organized Faithless Forum and invited Aaron Ra to it. 
any time he's invited to anything, ever. He always says, I'll come, I'll do it, but the condition is... My wife comes with me, and she goes everywhere with me. There's no green room that she doesn't come into. There's no nothing. You know, if I have a seat at the front near the stage, she sits next to me. She will be with me the whole time. And I thought it was, like, super respectable, you know? Like, absolutely. I've been in situations where conferences, you know, they want to invite people to speak, and they just want to, like, pay the ticket price for one person for like me or somebody whoever but they won't pay for the wife and uh, Aaron won't have it he'll do anything I I mean hell he spoke at Faithless Forum for free he didn't charge us a dime only thing he expected from us was that his wife sit next to him the entire time that his wife get to be you know in his same room like his hotel room uh, that his wife attend and be there with him. I, I just thought that was super respectable, honestly. He's a really nice guy. But when he gets frustrated, he gets frustrated. Once again, humans are apes in the same way that a duck is a bird. So if you ask me if I've ever seen a bird turn into a duck, that's kind of a stupid question. Uh, asking because I, didn't I, ever- I appreciate that he's drawing this out and like really trying to make the point because... Jesse Lee Peterson is thick as concrete, like it's not getting through there. But his listeners, on the other hand, might pick up on what Arunra is saying here. I didn't ask that. I didn't ask okay, that. Did, I asked you, you ask? I asked yeah. you, ask, ask, uh, ask. I, is this like a meme or what? Have you ever seen an ape turn into a human being? That is a nonsense question. Why? Because it's like asking for a place halfway between Los Angeles and California. No, it's not. I didn't ask about that. I know. You don't know what you asked. That's a really interesting point. Halfway between Los Angeles and California. There is no halfway in between because it's the same place, ultimately. I love the... It's like Aaron Ra has these uh, examples, like, loaded up and ready to go already. About that. I know. You don't know what you asked. I do know. The, you wrote, he apparently doesn't. Because the book called We Are All Apes. And, and it so gives the proof I'm in asking, the book. I'm asking, have you personally seen a human being, an ape turn into a human being? It would be impossible for a human being to be anything other than an ape for the same reason that it is impossible for a dachshund to be anything for a, but a dog. Have you ever seen a dog turn into a dachshund? Why are you running from that question? I'm not. He's not running from the question, and now Aaron Ra is getting pissed off. I'm answering no, you're the running. question. I'm illustrating you, no, what's you're wrong running. With the question. You're running from that question. You wrote. Jesse Lee Peterson knows he's got him like pissed off at this point. This book that we are facing you head on, answering your question directly. No, you're not. Humans are no. a subset of the category of apes. I didn't ask we, you that. We start I asked out you apes. how we have can't. You. So therefore, it is non. It makes no sense to ask how the parent category turns into the subcategory. It is exactly the same as asking if I've ever seen a bird turn into a duck. Do you understand why the why the why the question? Have you ever seen a bird turn into a duck? How about that, I ask? But you that, that wasn't a question. But that but that's the same question, isn't it? You, you wrote you the book the saying we fallacy. are. You see, Jesse Lee Peterson's going to refuse. He's he he just he won't get it. But the people listening might, and Aaron Ron knows that, and that's why he's really drilling down on this. He will not give up on this, and that's respectable. Going into the uh, the proverbial lion's den, if you will, to argue with somebody who appears to be a complete airhead. That's got that's you know that's respectable. That takes a lot of work. You tried to divert. Can a duck, can you tried to deviate not, from a, the question. Can a you duck wrote a not book a called "We Are All Apes." Uh, can and a so, duck how not did how bird? can you write a book that says we're all ape when uh-huh, you've never like seen the, a, a ape turn into a human being? Have you ever seen a duck turn into a? Have you ever seen a bird turn into a duck? Why are you dodging person? the question, man? I'm not dodging the question. I'm answering it. No, you're not. Can Is that I when I duck? ask you if you love a Christian, you, you, you went all around. I answered around. that question. I ask you where you're going, you tell me where you've been. That like, it doesn't make any sense at all what Jesse Lee Peterson is saying now. He's just got some platitudes that he likes repeating, and he repeats them. And I, and I answered your question. This is the same guy, by the way, who doesn't think that women can get there, if you catch my drift. 
Oh, you tell me where you've been. And I and I answered your question directly. No, you didn't. You're not answering. Yes, this I one. did. So anyway, yeah, that's the shorter version. I covered the entire thing on my unfiltered channel. If you want to watch it, like the whole uh, debate between the two of them, it was actually pretty interesting. First half of the debate is a little slow, but it picks up and it gets wild in the middle and the end. This was released August 2021. Jesse Lee, Jesse Lee Peterson show. Listen to what he says here. And the country is getting worse because we have turned it over to the intellectuals. And they have no insight, no no idea. It's just, yeah, the intellectuals. We've turned the country over to the intellectuals and they have no idea. It's just a mess. Everything they do is wrong because they cannot see what they're doing. This is why I'm telling you over and over and over again, save your money. It's the waste of time to go to a university. It's only build the ego. It makes you think. And that's bad. He, he doesn't want that. Anyway, tell me what you think about this dude in the comments. He's insufferable, in my opinion.